It should have been just another day at the office for TVS Antiques Roadshow presenter Larky Mason in 2002. But one of the pieces that someone brought in for a free appraisal didn't he just pique his interest, it almost completely overwhelmed him. It was all he could do to maintain his composure. Of course, it has the stuff of daytime TV, the finding of a valuable antique in the cellar or the loft packed away in an old box. That old blanket turns out to be a valuable American Indian artifact. The disregarded teapot is identified as a rare piece of 18th century porcelain. The muddy looking painting emerges as the work of an old master. The truth is that such finds are as rare as hen nest teeth. But on that 2002 episode of Antiques Roadshow it was clear to see that Mason had been presented with something he considered to be truly outstanding. So overcome by emotion was he that for a few moments he was barely able to speak. And Mason was no wet behind the ears appraiser. This wasn't as a man with many years of experience under his belt. Mason is a recognized expert on Chinese antiquities. He spent more than a decade as design teacher, including a spell at the New York School of Interior Design. He worked at Sotheby as Chinese Works of Art Department in New York for 24 years, rising to the position of Senior Vice President. Mason left Sotheby S in 2003 and founded a successful company, iGavelAuctions.com. He continues his academic pursuits as an adjunct professor at New York University. And of course he has been an appraiser on Antiques Roadshow for 22 years. But on that day back in 2002, for once the eloquent Mr. Mason was at a loss for words. The segment started off well enough with a lady of mature years explaining that her grandparents had acquired the piece in question, a marble statue of a lion, while in China early in the 20th century. The lioness owner went on to explain that she'd inherited the piece, and a family friend with some knowledge of Chinese art had taken a look at it. He thought that it was very valuable and probably from the period of the Ming Dynasty, 